Hello, it is Saturday, February 5th, 2022. I made the text a little smaller on the bottom. And uh, hopefully that's okay. though. will give us a little more room on the top area. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm in Photoshop now. This is Photoshop. I'll show you. Um, let's see. About Photoshop. So you click on Help About Photoshop. And then you can't see that very well. It says 20, uh, version 23.1.1 release. And then they have all these names scrolling. So your eyes can get buggy. I'm going to hit escape. Okay. And then I'm going to click on help again. And do a quick system int info. And... So Photoshop is 23 version 23.1.1 and all of this and then uh, let's see Windows 10 64 bit version 10.0.19044 this is Windows Pro and because of Windows 11 not accepting Windows Pro without buying a whole new piece of software I am not upgraded to Windows 11 I will not get rid of my Windows Pro and okay so i am running though an older cp uh not cpu gpu which is in here so yeah gpu is down here it's pretty old though so they finally in photoshop i asked them not to do this but of course i'm a nobody to them um they finally Upgraded their Photoshop to where they can start bashing against people who have older CPUs When they know we can't buy them that easily so anyways but I have uh, One CPU and it has a lot of stuff on that. I haven't upgraded CPU. So this is good um and I have 32 gigs of memory. So, yeah, there we go. So I'm going to get out of this. Click OK. I'm going to go to File. I'm going to open. And then it's open on my other monitor, which is fine. I'm going to go to uh, find something from Creative Fabrica, which is a pretty good website. Uh, let's see. These are some. Whoop, let me see if I can move it over here. These are some files I have from Pre Creative Fabrica. Let's pick a um, Valentine. Let's pick a Valentine one. Okay, so I I gotta move this one out of this directory. But anyways, I have a Valentine's Day bundle. It was included with my subscription service with Creative Fabrica. I'm allowed to use it in commercial environment so we're going to create some products with this and I'm trying to figure out what I want this really annoys me it always goes to large icons and I want always have to go to extra icons I'm going to go look for that setting and see if I can get it to um, automatically go to extra as the default instead of just large but okay let's look through here Coffee is my valentine. Ah, I like that one. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Let's see. Something. You remind me of my. You, you remind me of my valentine. Of my what? Truck? Jeep? Hmm. Uh, Mimi Story. Let's see. Love. Love. Baby. Boy. But. Mm. <laughs> Babe. No. Baby. No. What is this? Love. I'm not sure. Love bugs with the bug G G S. Somebody yelling at me while I'm looking at it. 
Stuck on you, the cactus. I like that one. Hmm. All right, so let me pick something. Which one do I want to pick? Well, I don't know. Uh, I like coffee as my valentine. Uh, of course, these are these are cool. Okay, I'll pick one. Be mine. I'll pick the coffee. Okay, we're going to open it. Alright, there we go. Now, the first thing I like to do is... I like to go over here and get a, put a uh, new layer there. Add layer, yeah, layer mask. Oh. Um, I just want a new layer. I like to leave... Oh, wait, is it open? Yeah, it's open. Okay, new layer. I just do that. And what I do is I look on the second layer here and decide what I want to do. Well, one thing I would love to do is put an overlay behind it. Um, I mean, it is pretty cool the way it is. But... Let's see. Maybe we could color the overlay a red color. I need to find the brush. And then in the brush, click the down arrow here. Come on. Nope. Hello. Alright. Right click. That's not what I want. I want the bucket. Where's the bucket? Yeah, see, this is how you learn. I use this all the time, but that doesn't mean I remember everything all the time. <laughs> well, where's the bucket? Hmm. I'm surprised I can't find the bucket. That's amazing. Edit toolbar. Sometimes something is missing. Where is the bucket? Brush, pencil, color, mixer. Um, well, I know it's here. I've used it before several times. But I can't find it. Now, this particular version of... of um, Photoshop I have not used. So if they change this, took it out or something like that, I'm not going to know that yet until I go looking for it, like right now. So, um, so let's see. I do not see it. Hmm. I'm going to have to figure out what they did. Because it's not there now. So what we're going to do instead, I'm going to go to um, the normal brush tool. And I'm going to figure out what I want to do. Uh, let's see, I can make it a little bigger. And 
and so annoying I can't see anything Ooh, special effects uh, let's see Well, I would like to have sparkles of red. How's that? Splatters of Supreme Splatter. Splatter bot. Splatter. Splatter pressure control. No. Okay, so we're going to use the splatter brush. I'm going to click out here to close that. Then I'm going to go in here. Right, I'm going to click on that. I want to find red. Then I'm going to click OK. Now, what do I have up here? I have the splatter 284 pixels. That's what one splatter looks like. Okay, let's see what we get. Okay. Hmm. Now, if for any reason, let's say, oh no, I don't like that. What I can do, first of all, I can undo. You know. Right, I can do that. There, I think that looks all right. Not too dark or too light. Okay, so what I'm going to do then, I'm going to take this. Oh, wait, let's put some in here. Some red splatter down here. Now, what I want to do, the reason I did that was to give it a little bit different touch uh, so that it's, it's not exactly the same file. So we're going to do export as Then I'm going to move that over so I can see where I want to put it. Okay, so I'm going to say export. Then I'm going to go and put it in Creative Fabrica. No, I'm going to put it down here. Let me see. Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll do Creative Fabrica. Then I'll create a red bubble. Right? Ugh. If I could, I could create some NFTs with some of these. Uh, red bubble, and then in red bubble, we're gonna call it that. Same title. Coffee is my Valentine. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm going to close the TV for a second, and I'm going to turn this on so that I can go into my other screen keep my privacy and I'm going to go into Redbubble okay so we're going to go into Redbubble all right and then we're going to um, okay so we're going to show you Redbubble Become a member. I'm already a member. Okay. All right. Redbubble. I want to 
go in here and I want to add new work and then I'm going to upload new work All right and I'm going to move that over for a minute so I can go find it Uh, let's see where we'll find it. I'm gonna find Creative Paprika, and then I want to find Redbubble, and then I want to upload this. So I'm gonna upload this and let it upload. Then I'm gonna put. Uh, I'm not gonna make very many, just a couple. Coffee. Let me see, Valentine. All right, Coffee Valentine. Okay, so let's let's fix this up real quick. I should add. I know I should add uh, music here, and I will soon. I uh, have to do some more work and make sure I'm ready to do that. I just haven't. That out just yet. So let's see, we're going to call it uh, I don't know. Coffee Valentine. Coffee is, is my Valentine. Uh, and let me just see what you mean. Um, mm -hmm. this. This coffee cup and coffee bean. Because there's my one time image, which is an image. There's my coffee is my Valentine image. Okay. Right, coffee is my Valentine image with a coffee cup and coffee bean. In the background um, is my Valentine pop art. Right? Okay. Now let's go down here. Now what size is this image? Right? So this image is this image is oh boy, there's a few ones in here. If I open this up, take a look at it, right? This image is 4,000 by 4,000. It's very, very important to see that. So, and I'll show you why in Redbubble. If I go into Redbubble, let's click on this one. And what I do is, well, it's already highlighted, so let's click on it. And it'll bring it down to right here in the, into, yeah. Where'd it go? Oh, edit. There we go. Down here into uh, the area to edit it. And I picked this one for sure because I want to say something else. They have another area. An area for children's clothes. This is where some of the children's clothes are located. They have to choose for adults and then go in here and choose for children's clothes. If it was for children only, then you can uncheck everything and only check the children's clothes. That's an option. Alright. So but if I click this twice, it'll close it like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable that one. 
And I'm going to have the chiffon top. That looks good. Let's edit it though. So if I edit it, right, and I see this right here, this little design, that would be going here too. If I move it down, Well, I'm going to scale it a little bit. Try again. To the sides I have. Now, I want to go back to uh -huh. Well, oh, that's off the edge. Very nice. So close. All right, I'm going to do it that way. There it is. Um, we'll do that. Uh, I just hit I change. Uh huh. Uh, I think this is the cave wall and the other one. For the time being, oh, this is really hitting my eyes. Why do I focus here? So let's look at the, let's disable the case. We're not going to do that right now. We're going to leave the sticker in the magnet. We'll leave the shirt. <clears throat> um, Oh, let's see. Um, do I want all these? Not really. Save all the ones I don't want. Like that. I'm just gonna do this. Now I can always change this later. So I'm just trying to get to a quick one right now. If they look like they need a lot of work, I'm just going to hit disable them. And then do it later. Here, uh, you have to make sure the answer works because it spelled me. So, no, I'm gonna put uh, pink, green, sweet, dry, digital art, and then I'm gonna put it in the collection, but uh, I think I have to do that in the file or in the. I think you have to create this collection. I don't see a way to create it here. I forgot how I did it. Probably inside the um, 
hunting. And you'll find it over here and do it. Optimize recommend recommended. Okay, we can talk about that. Save work. Alright, we'll let that happen. So it's gonna save the work. Okay. Oh, I have twenty people who like me. That's nice. Yeah, there we go. See if these look all right. Oh, no. No, see, you don't know how this looks until after you're done. Oh. Oh, let me see. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? No, 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 no. See, look, it, it's missing at the end. Um, no, okay, um, shoot. now a lot of these, yeah, here's an example where they're, um, oh, those are cute, yeah, okay, let me check the other ones first, <laughs> it's on the, yeah, okay. All right, let me go go back. Now, if something's wrong like that, okay, so this is, um, this is art print, no. Glossy sticker, no. Um, where did I see? Oh, iPhone wallet. Bad. iPad skin, bad. Um, iPad snap, snap case is bad. Okay. So if I go back here, right, and I click on edit, it's going to take me right back to the screen again. And so here's where you find those things. I, I want to turn them off, but stickers and magnets. Okay, I turn on those, turn off those cases. Pouches, laptop skins, and sleeves. Boom, turn that off. Should be fine from there. Oh, here we go. Tablet case and skins. I didn't see that earlier. And. Um. Go all the way down. I'm not going to do those right now. Go all the way down. Make sure everything is connected. Okay. Sorry about that. Let me see. Uh, okay. So we're going to go down here and go ahead and save work again. After I took those out. And that's how long it takes to do this. I mean, my eyes are bugging out in front of the screen. And, uh, yeah. So it takes a while to do these things. These are pretty good. Uh, I'm going to leave it like that. Yep, everything looks fine. It's not the best, but they look okay. I hope that looks okay. But, oh no, hardcover journal, that looks bad. Okay. Alright, hardcover journal. There's always something, but this is how long it takes to do these. So, I mean, I would like to do this for people. Because I really do look at these details. And I could do it for these other languages as well. All I have to do is use Google... Google Translator for the other languages. Oh, let's see. Yeah, no. Can I get those cut off? They're cut off. Where is it? Oh, boy. Oh, no. Let me take a look here. Where is it? Uh, 
I'll come back and, and do this later. Phone wallet. Phone wallet. Let's see. What's that? Oh, we got a jigsaw puzzle. Let me see. I kind of like the jigsaw puzzle. Alright, let's show you the jigsaw puzzle. So, the jigsaw puzzle has this big of an area. Which is 9075 by 8201. So if you're in Photoshop, you want to create this space this big. Or a little bigger would be better. Okay, but this doesn't fit the whole space, right? So I could do a couple things. I could create a background color, right? Or I could create a different pattern for it. I could do this. I could do this. And then I can also do scale it. I can scale it like this. Ooh. That's a hundred percent. So I don't know. Nah, I don't think I want it. But I can apply changes and take a look at it and say, hmm, do I want that to be a puzzle? No, I changed my mind. So I just live with it. Right? So now sleeveless top, okay. Oh, apron. Oh shoot, we have to get the apron, right? So with the apron, what I want to do is take a look up here. It looks like it's the whole thing is on the apron. And you can see in here there's a little dotted line right there in the corner and here in the corner. And so it's it's on the whole apron, even in the straw. Is up here, but there's some white space on the top and on the bottom. So, what I could do, and that's because my slightly is smaller, there is 4095 by 4950 is the whole space. So, let's look, let's do this. So, this time I'm going to say background color. Ooh, not so. That was kind of me. Oh, right. Uh, that's a good way to black. That was a good question. Black background. Uh, yeah, that would be very nice. There we go. Okay, we're going to do that. We're going to leave it at that. It's, it's kind of a black, uh, purplish, brown. Uh, floor pillow is kind of big. Phone wallet. Uh, I don't think there's any wallets and stuff. Okay, maybe later. So let's look up here real quick. Kind of block and pictures. Oh, it's gorgeous. Print. See, under here it tells you how many different products there are. Two by two, so there's two products. And they're both in there. This is only one product. Oh, the journal. Here it is. So, where is it on the journal? Oh, I see. So, this is the center of the journal. And these are the sides. I mean, you can make it smaller. You know, like that. But what I'd rather do is create another image. And then put it on front and the back. So I'm not going to do this right now. Okay, so I'm going to do this with the journal. And I'm going to this way does it. It doesn't have the right image for that. Okay, a photo block cover. So sometimes posters, sometimes like, like this for example, you can only see one thing. So if I click on edit and look, you know, I can move it around and say, okay, that's the center. That's where it is. Now, if I want to center it, I can click on this and click on this, and it will center the whole thing. Mm. So, yeah. Now, if I want, I could put a background on there. You know, that, 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 that. What is that? 
block and a poster with black. Ooh, that really pops the red, right? Doesn't it? Oh, that looks really cool. So really like that. Sometimes, see, when you play with the inside there, you can just kind of create a whole unique design, and that's the whole idea. I like that. Alright, so, you know, the star, the star would look better if I made it smaller. Oops. Uh, edit. No, um, I need it smaller, and I put a design on it, like that, that might look better, but I'm going to disable the star, it just disable it, okay, whatever, and we're going to leave this at that for now, uh, you can always come back in here, and change things and you know um let me look at this two items so throw pillow all over print tote bag hmm. so let's go down just a tad and then we'll turn it Now, up here, doesn't look like I did much. Let's go there. Oh, what was that? Oh, that was the pillow. But still, I did move it over just a little. If I look at that, go down a little bit. See, it, it moved. Right? A little bit moved. It's more on the inside, and if I put center, center. Leave it like that. Okay. All right. Let's try changes. Okay. So we're gonna get out of here by going down to the bottom. And time to end the video. It's thirty to fifty minutes or something right now. I'll look at those later. Okay. Is there anything in the collection? Um, oh, I'll have to create something later. We have to click on this and default product in your shop. Um, I'm just going to say save work. I can always come back to that. All right. All right, now everything looks centered. I think that's okay. Um, oh, I see. I think this is okay. So there we go. Okay. So that's how you can take a uh, creative Tabitha bundle. From a Valentine's Day, you know, put it up, do some uh, Photoshop editing on it, make it a different, you know, I made it something different than the original by adding the red to it. It made a different product. It's not exactly the same. You don't have to do that, but I wanted it to be unique. So now what I'm going to do. is go ahead and end the video thank you very much and we shall see you next time thank you please subscribe and share and like and let's have fun all right check out my other videos of different various projects if you're interested and thank you so much have a good day this is laura out